After a long offseason, after a promising 2022, the Lawrence County football team is ready to get back on the field. I'm pretty excited. I'm just ready to hit somebody, you know, get football going. It's my last summer, so I'm ready to take advantage of it and have a good time. The Wildcats returned 19 starters from last year's team, bringing back a wealth of experience. You know, 11 starters on offense, 8 on defense, uh, and we had a, uh, a young man move in that's, that's actually going to be a starter uh, that came from California that's, that's got a chance to be a really good offensive lineman for us. So, uh, uh, you know, so we moved a guy that was starting on offense. Now he's starting on defense. So, uh, you know, he's still a starter, but uh, like I say, well, he got displaced on the offensive line, went to the defensive line. Orange County will have its dangerous duo in Isaiah Bentley and Latavian Everly back, and adding Ian Clayton has made them even more potent. Ian Clayton came on strong when he wasn't, you know, he sort of had an ankle injury early in the season. He came on later on and had a really good year. Uh, he'll be another threat back there in the backfield. The Wildcats will jump up to 5A in 2023, adding a new level of competition and some familiar opponents. It's going to be a fun year with uh, Giles County, Columbia Central, all those teams. Um, I can't wait. The Purple and Gold will be aiming for the first playoff since 2015 and a building block for the future. This year, class of 2024, that's all we really want to do is go far. And I feel like the talent we got this year and the way we're practicing now, I feel like we got a pretty good chance of making a run for ourselves.